Millions are making their way across the country today for the holidays, despite urgent pleas from health officials to stay home. Aisha Hosni has more from New York. Airports hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic over the last year, seeing a surge of passengers this week as millions of Americans travel across the country to see family and friends for the holidays. All of this as public officials continue to urge Americans to stay home to avoid potentially spreading the coronavirus to friends and loved ones. If you have travel plans right now, cancel those travel plans. Ten months into the pandemic, though, many are experiencing COVID fatigue. I had to get out of Chicago. We all shut down, nothing to do. I mean, I had to see some family members, too. According to travel agency AAA, most Americans will be hitting the road this holiday season, but nearly three million are expected to travel by plane over the next week and a half. That is less than half the number of travelers at this time last year. Many in airports say they're enjoying the smaller crowds. It's kind of weird seeing not that many people during the holidays, you know. Um, but it's kind of nice, too. Even though not as many people will be getting on a plane this year, if you are, you can expect them to be fuller as airlines reduce the number of flights and some begin filling those middle seats again. It was pretty packed, which I didn't expect, I guess. Um, but I think that everyone has been really good about, like, you know, enforcing mask usage and uh, hand washing and all that stuff. So overall, I feel pretty safe. And if you are traveling, the CDC recommends you get tested before and after your trip and also quarantine for a week after you return.